This is going down to the wire. Rook to b8. I play rook to b8 really quickly. I'm going to kick the knight. I'll get my rook to c8. Now play f3, g4, something like that. Try to trade pieces. I don't think you're making this happen, though. And g3. He plays g4, trying to get the pawn running. g5. I didn't like that move f3. Oh, my gosh. Mutual time trouble here. 92 check. 92 check is coming. And once 92 happens, you have... Oh, what's going on here? 92, c2. Hikaru's... Oh, no! He moved nice to c1. Take on f3. Take on f3. Oh, my God. You have to take on f3, dude. Bishop d3, a brilliant pre-move. Not a pre-move. He stopped the pre-move. That is Hikaru Nakamura showing off his bullet skills because he blundered. We all saw him blunder with knight to c1. Then after rook takes c1, he was... I don't know exactly what he's... He's trying to get his pawn to c1. I'm not sure. But here... You have to just take this pawn f3. You can no longer lose the game. And bishop d3 cuts off the rook from the pre-move that he was trying to make of rook takes f3. And that is how you win bullet games that you may have no business winning over the board. What was it? Sushi on Denman in Vancouver. Let me let me see if I can pull it up quickly. Um, okay, let me close this one. Why am I doing this while I play a game? Okay, let's go knight f3. Um... I think it was Tetsu. It was Tetsu, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's go B3 here. Um, let me try to focus on the game, actually. Wait, what? Was that a slip? He just mouse slipped, uh, or did he? Was that a mouse slip, or was this a serious move? I'm confused. Whatever, who cares? I think that was a mouse slip, though. I think that was a mouse slip. It must be a mouse slip. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. If E4, I just take, okay. I'll play C3 here. That had to be a mouse slip. There's no way that was intentional. Um, now I can play b4. I can also just play like g3 and bishop g2. I think I think I'm going to do this to stop these attacks. But this is kind of interesting. It's not really clear cut that if I'm better or not. I assume I'm better because I'm up a pawn. But it's not going to be trivial to prove. I mean, or it's just he wants to go all in right away and try to do something. I, I don't really know. Of course, I should take. Hmm. Okay, let's think. This is actually not trivial at all. This might this might be kind of dangerous. Very weird. Maybe I knight of d2. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play knight of d2 here. Knight of two, just king f2 and king back. Bishop f5, I take and go f3. Queen e7, I just trade. It's not trivial. So we'll see. He's going to think here for a long time. And this is the other thing is when you're playing three plus one, both players think for a long time. Thank you to Thayer, to Slayer for the prime. Thank you to Fuzzy Bebop with the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. No, he's the, he's a good player. He, he is legitimately a good player. I think he just, he made a mouse slip, but it, the game is not over, obviously. So, um, I just take, I'm going to go and play Bishop G2. I feel like I should probably play like Bishop E3 though. Because I don't want him getting the bishop to c5 here. And now maybe knight e2, maybe a queen c2 at the right moment. Obviously, I have bishop g2. Um, but it's just a matter of what the setup is specifically. I can also gambit this pawn back, maybe. And I think I probably will at some point if, if he doesn't play this precisely. So let's see. Okay, so he's going to go bishop f5. I'm going to go bishop g2, probably. Um, if knight e5, I think I have queen d4. Still knight d2 is a threat. So let's see what he's going to do. Because his king, if he if he can't castle the king, then he doesn't really get this attack. And it's not really so clear. No, no, this is not indecisiveness. This is for real money, you guys. I'm, nothing that I'm doing now is like joking around. This, this is very serious. Um, so he's thinking for a long time here, trying to come up with an idea. Because he's obviously unhappy with this rook d8 idea because then his king can't get out of the center. Um, and if I get this, 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 and then I can go either way, I can swing it both ways, then I should be doing pretty well. Okay, Bishop h6, very interesting move. Um, now, if I go queen c1, I also have queen d5. That's two pawns then. But he's going to get castle, and there's going to be counterplay. I think I'm just going to go queen. Queen c1 looks good, and queen e3. Yeah, queen e3, of course. And if I get knight d2, now I think I should just be much better. Yeah, just knight d2. Or does he have knight before? What am I missing? Let's be careful here. Bishop g2 is a move. Knight d2 is a move. Just knight before rook c1, knight d5. Okay, so I see what his idea is here. So I'm just going to go... Hmm. 
92 castles. Maybe I have Queen F4, actually. No, that doesn't look right. 92 castles. Castle queen side. Actually, what does he do? He's got rook d3, takes check. No, okay, so castles. 97. 97's annoying, actually. So, hmm. Wait, I should move here. D4. C1, 95. Hmm. No, I think I'm just gonna do this in castle, just ignore it completely. It's just castle. Because now if he moves the knight, he loses this one. So I should just be much better. Especially with the pawn e4 hanging. The key is that he can't really use the knight anywhere because he loses this pawn. This diagonal is super critical here for both sides. Thank you to Nick, uh, Nick, Aguer Nick Agu Aguilera, 101 for the prime. Thank you to Jugal YT for the two months. Thank you to Rad1400 for the prime. Thank you to Xeno Anonymous for the three months. Thank you to F Fuzzy Beef up again. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, let's keep going. Okay, so he's thinking for a long time. It, basically, Black has to prove that he has enough play here because he's already down one pawn. And once I bring the knight and the rook into the game, he's basically lost. So he basically has to go all in here um, in the next 20 seconds. Do I stream on delay? Can't he snipe? Chad, I, I like to believe chess players are better than that, honestly. I, I do. Um, now, I can play a4. I can also go b4, knight a3, which is my original thought process. Um, I can also take the pawn, which I don't like. So I'm going to go a4, knight a3 here. Okay, wait, but now he does this? Okay, but now I assume I can just take? What am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. Because knight a3 is coming. This idea with knight g4 and queen h6, I think it's just way too slow. Unless I'm missing something very obvious, okay. So let's be careful. Knight a3, queen h6, h4. There's nothing, yeah, there's just nothing. All right? There can't be. I can also play knight c4, wait, but this is a pawn. Wait, what? Wait a second, okay. No mistakes, stay calm, no mistakes. Okay. I can take this pawn. Um, I can also just take and go knight b5 or something, which is probably very clean. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this pawn. And knight b5 should be good enough, right? Take. Yeah, this should be good enough, because takes I can just take. Takes. It's gonna go queen c5, and then I can just go check. And takes, takes, and I take the bishop, and... Oh, he goes up, okay. I think knight d4. Yeah, now I'm just up way too many pawns here. Just takes and takes, and I'm up just way too much. I'm gonna just play, like... Um, I'll just go here. This a pawn is just running just too much. Here. Let's go b5. And that's it. And we win the game. We move on. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a nice win, but I want, actually, this one, I wonder what the evaluation is. Let me see what the evaluation is. I wonder. This one's going to be interesting to look at briefly. Let's see what the evaluation is. Because I'm not, I'm not so sure what, what's going on in this game. This is going to be an interesting one. Let's, let's see what the, oh, sorry. I'm on the wrong screen, right? Um, sorry, this is tours. Uh, which one is this one? I think this is right. Yeah, this is the right scene. Okay. Okay, 96.381, obviously, because it says, ooh, nine inaccuracies. Wow, that's a lot. Um, okay, so let's see. What's the evaluation here? Okay, so D3 is not right. Okay. Yeah, it's better. Okay. And I guess it's, it's always a little bit better, maybe? Oh, this is wrong. Huh. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So this, 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 this. Okay, then I guess it's just bad. It's just bad for black. Computer still gives a big edge. So it just, even though I thought maybe there was some, some stuff for white, it's just always much, much better. So that, yeah, I guess that's how it goes. All right. Um, so yeah, let's, let's keep going. Um, let's see who else is playing right now. Let's see. Fabiano should be playing, right? Um, let's let's look for Fabiano. Who's Fabiano playing against? He's somewhere down here. No, Fabiano is done. Fabiano lost? What? Sorry, what? 
Okay, let's see. Okay. So the Dutch defense, okay. 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 White's just much better here, isn't he? Isn't white just significantly better? Maybe not. Plus three, okay. So it's eh, not so special. Okay. Okay. Here. Yeah, white's better. Wrong scene? No, I mean, I can adjust the board. I just, I'm being lazy. Um, I mean, I can adjust it, of course. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want more board, there you go. More board. Um, there you guys go. All right. That's, that's, what, that's what you get. Okay, I'll readjust it back afterwards. Um, okay, so rook a1. I mean, Fabiano's just crushing here. What? It's just like really, really good for white. White's going to go e4, take the center. Great bishop. Okay. Grishuk lost too? Wow. Okay, crazy. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, so Fabiano went wrong. He let he let this A file get open, and then Black was able to just do a double stack and come down towards the pawn in A2. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Still, it should be okay. I'm surprised that he lost this. Oh, he allowed C5. Still good. Okay. Wait, what? This is just... Wait, what? White's, it says plus seven here. So let me think for one second. Let me see. Why? What am I missing here? What am I missing? Or no, it says plus 8.67 now. I think you guys can see it, right? It says plus 8.89. Okay, let's think for a second. Let's see. So Fabiano missed something that's winning here. Now it says plus 9.09. .09. Okay. Rook F3 looks like the correct move. I mean, am I missing something really stupid? Am I just as bad as Fabiano? Or are we both just trash? That's also a possibility. I don't understand. Rook F3 looks right. It's not... Wait, what? Whoa, okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, sorry. We're both trash. Okay, let me think for a second. Okay, we're both trash. Um, let's think. This is supposed to be plus... Okay, now it's come down to plus 7.77. Okay, let's think. Um, no, if you push pawn D5, black takes the bishop. So, no, it's definitely not D5. Um, rook F3 looks like the human move. What? Rook F3 is not the right... Chat, to be clear, rook F3 is not the right move. Yes? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't see it. What, what's the line? No, Rook F3 is correct. Rook F3 is the right line. Rook F3 is right. No, sorry, the, the engine, I turned it on. It is Rook F3, okay. So Rook F3 is the right move. Okay, so he plays Rook F3, King G8. Okay, so now, now it's just winning for white. Wait, no, no, isn't Queen E3 just GG's? Wait, what's wrong with Queen E3 and Queen H6? Am I crazy? Isn't Queen E3 just... Isn't Queen E3 just winning? What? Okay, Queen E3 is winning. He goes here. Still looks very... St it's plus 9 for white even here. What? The engine says plus 9 still. What? Okay. Okay. But I mean, white's still easily winning here. Okay, he goes here. That looks sus suspicious. Isn't there like Queen out G5? Queen out... I mean... Okay, so takes here. Still probably good. Ah, but now the king gets away, and then, yeah, and then Fabiano just ends up blundering somewhere. And he, ah, he blunders queen c1. And then, yeah, and then it's still probably okay. But somehow he blunders it. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay, very weird. Very, very weird. Yeah. Strange game for Fabiano. I mean, he should have won that game um, in, in many different cases. But, you know, it happens. It's life. You can't always win. So let me readjust my board now. Um, let me take that this way. That this way. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. So let me... Um, whoops. Sorry. Wrong tab. 
Um, I will ch update the, 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 the image instead. Let me change that. Update it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the uh, here's the next one. So now it's down to the final four, I guess. Um, put this here. I, I mean, this is pretty scuffed, you guys, obviously, but it's not 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 my doing. I'm not the one making the uh, making the tables. So here you guys go. Okay, so we're down we're down to the semifinals. Um, I'm playing against uh, who am I playing against? I'm playing against. Um, uh, Ranax Hadwani and then Amin Tabatabai plays against Infernal Zam. Two games. So let's uh, let's let's keep it rolling. Okay, here we go. Should be starting one second. Try to keep it rolling, try to keep winning. Keep doing well. How did Grishuk lose? I don't have time to look at his game. So um, I'm just gonna focus on my game for right now and uh, and we just rock and roll. Um, I think he's like 16, if I'm not mistaken. So this is best of two, and then the tiebreaker I believe is bullet chess again. So, so we'll see. Yeah. All right. He is 14 years old or 15. Okay. Yeah. So, semifinals. We keep rolling. Um, sorry that it's a little bit scuffed, you guys, but that's that's what it is. Um, but yeah, semifinals coming up, and if I win this, then I'm in the finals. Uh, so let's just keep playing good chess. Keep playing the good, good stuff. Going for the um, going for the the quick checkmates. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna keep playing. Just keep playing good chess. That's all you can do, and good things happen. Wasn't I two seven? No, I was number six. Thank you to Ryzak for the uh, for the two months. Thank you to Jane for the three months. Thank you to Lewis for the six months. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Okay, let's focus. Um, he's 2946, so I'm actually probably gonna go after him. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the usual. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's play the the traditional modern. It's a little bit dubious, by the way. It's a little bit dangerous playing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, because I can always go queen d7. So he has to go like queen e2. I'll go e6. Knight d7. Knight f6. Obviously. Okay, play c4. Strange move. I don't actually like that. Um, because now I can play like. I'm gonna go knight d7, maybe knight b6, maybe just h6 first. Uh, let's just go here. If bishop g5, I'll play h6 and g5, g4. So he probably will go like rook d1 is my guess, and I can play knight b6. Um, we'll see. He plays h4, which I really don't like. I think that's way too aggressive here. Because I'm not guaranteed to castle this way. I probably will, but I don't have to. Um, now, let's see. Now. I can. I think I will just castle and go knight f6 though and hit the pawn. Okay, rook d1 as expected. I can play knight f6 here. If e5, knight d5 is good. If he doesn't play e5, I have d5 myself. I also have knight h5 and knight g4 coming. So I like my position. I think I'm doing pretty well here. Goes bishop b3. That's a strange move. It's a very strange move. I think I can slide my king maybe. I can also play a5, bishop a6. I can also go d5, knight e4. That looks a little bit iffy, though, so I'm just going to slide my king over so that I can play knight g8. I'm still keeping an eye on e4. I have all these pawn pushes. So we'll, we'll see what he does here. Goes e5, which actually I'm kind of... I'm actually quite happy to see. So I think knight d5, and now I'm going to get knight f5. I also had knight g4, which maybe was a little bit better. I can take with a bishop... Um, I can take with the knight too. I think I'll take with the knight. Okay, goes bishop c1. Now I think I will play a5, a4, a3 here. I have bishop a6 to so lever towards the queen. So we probably just go like rook e1, but then a4 and a3. And I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the position I have here. So a4 takes. If he goes back, I go a3, hit the pawn. He can't go here because of knight c3. I also have knight b4 at the right moment. Um, and I think I'm doing pretty well. Although I do have to be mindful of these h5 ideas with these mating threats. It's the only danger here. So let's see what he's gonna do. Will he play h5? Will he play something else? Okay, bishop b1 I will take. Now I thought I had knight f4 and like knight h3 and knight g5, maybe, maybe not. So knight f4, queen e3, knight g2? No, that's not gonna work. d5 definitely won't work. Is h5 a threat? Potentially, yes. So I think I'm gonna go here. Try to focus on this bishop. I thought I had knight of, don't I have knight of four here? What? Hit the queen, I take. 
No, he blundered. Now he's in real trouble, I think. Although maybe it's not so bad for white. If I go queen h4 there. Okay, so I can play takes, I can play rook c2, I can also knight h2, queen h4. Queen h4, if he goes h, rook h1, queen g4. Rook d3, I take. This should be four, I just trade and I take. I think knight g2 works. Let's see, takes, takes, queen h4. No bishop moves, no king moves. Yeah, I think this is good, let's do it. So I'm gonna go queen h4 next move. Oh, he has d5. Oh, shoot. He's got... Ah, that was a mistake. Queen h4 is d... Wait, but I have check. Here, takes... I mean, whatever. If this is no good, it's no good. But I don't believe it. So I'm going to play here. So I have check, and I have bishop d5. And I mean, I feel like there's too much stuff hanging here. Maybe he's okay, but I, the rook on b8 is really, really classically placed here. And if he goes bishop e4, I just trade it all down. And then I take the bishop, and I should be winning, although even that's not 100% clear. Um, so we'll see. But I, I think I'm doing pretty well here. Let's see. So he's thinking a long time. So he's got 56 seconds. So I'm up a lot of time on the clock, which is going to be very, which is very important here because this is getting very complicated. Generally, when you're when you're playing a complicated game, you want to be ahead on the clock. That's what you want. So when, when, when it's complicated like this and you're up a minute, um, it's 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 a good thing. Okay, so he does d5. So now I make the check. Then I have to move the king, and then I take, and then I take, and it's I mean it's hard to believe that White can be okay here. So I'm just taking so many of his pawns, and I don't buy it. If King f1, I go check as well. If he goes here, I take. If he goes here, I take. I mean, I think this is blog. No, I think this is blog. No, I think I'm winning. Unless I'm missing something very obvious, I think this is just GG's. We'll see if I am. But don't I have just check here? Would it? I don't understand. Let's go check. Because now I take and I take. Yeah, this is this is total blog. No. Let's just check or t do i want to tickle him no i don't want to do i want to tickle him or not no i don't want to tickle him let's just take takes so i can obviously check and go rook before i don't really want to tickle so let's see if i check rook before knight d4 queen g4 yeah i think this wins this must be winning let's go here check make ink ah, he's got knight h2 though Shoot, I just, oh my gosh, what, what did I just do? Oh my gosh, I just blundered, oh my gosh, I just blundered this all away. Oh my gosh. Wait, but now he does this? Oh my gosh, I just threw this completely away. Oh, I was winning, oh my gosh. Okay, but maybe I have some, oh, I can't believe I did that, that was so stupid. This is like my game against Ding now. This reminds me of that. <sighs> so bad. So if I check and then I take d4, I'm gonna go for it. So I have check. 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 So I go here. No, I'm still winning, so I have check. Don't I? Is there no check? Oh my gosh, is there really no checkmate here? What? There's really no checkmate. I don't believe this. This is unreal. There's no checkmate here. Oh my gosh. Check, check, check. Oh my gosh. Check. Because I have check. No, I misplayed this. Check. Oh, did he just blunder though? Now I go check. Check. Here.
here. As I push. Go here. Clock. Here. Yes, there we go. Whew. Get a win. Whoa. I think it's win. It's it's it's. This is a very technical rook and pawn end game at the end. Okay, so now I get white. Okay, let's keep it rolling. <sighs> let's go d4. Let's go e3. Wow, that was a really that was a, that was. Oh, I mean, blunders a pawn. Very nice. Um, that's a rook and pawn end game. That's in Duretsky's end game manual. Um, now I take. That that was drawing right up until very close to the end. That was that was still a draw, but he he brought the king back at the wrong point. Um, let's take. Okay, I can just take and go like queen d2, bishop here. By the way, you guys, I had this position in the famous adoption match against freaking Komodo. I got the winning position, then I misplayed it. But this is a, a known variation. Okay, now I think knight a3, knight b5. Is supposed to be okay here. I think he misplayed this order because now after knight b5 or knight c2, knight d4, I think it's supposed to be completely fine for white. Maybe not even fine, but just better actually. a6, knight. Ah, uh, wait. This is a blunder, but it's actually. I'm up by one point here, so do I mind doing that? Probably not. Um, but actually, this is kind of ugly. Let's see. So I go bishop d3. I can also go knight d4. What about knight d4, knight d4, cd4, bishop e7, rook c1. That looks fine. Let's go knight d4. Next, queen a5, I also have queen b2. And so let's see what he does. He takes, I take with the pawn. He goes back. But now I think I start to actually get the unwind. Because I get knight c2, and now my knights are very well positioned. I go rook c1. And now I'm just up the pawn. I go knight b4. And I can't really lose here unless I do something utterly insane which is totally like me but i'll try not to so bishop d4 knight knight takes bishop e3 f3 i can also just play rook d1 actually then he takes here 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 he cuts the queen trap rook d1 takes takes um yeah this is fine because if queen a2 i go here if here then i trap the queen can still take, but I just take. Now with the rooks on the ideal squares, I can reroute my knight. I'm just up a pawn. And I should be completely winning here. Okay, he goes rook c7. Knight b4 is good enough here. I can also just play a4, but I'm, I'm really not in the mood to try and give him much. So knight b4 feels like a logical approach. d4, knight 6. I can also play a4 and b4. Again, I'm running into the question of do I want to play to win this game or do I want to play to draw this game? And my gut tells me that I should probably just be smart and not stupid. Um, so I will do this. And that's not a blunder. Okay, rook c8. Okay, but now I think I can just, yeah, I can just trade. And go knight d3. Oh, I can also take this pawn, I guess. I didn't realize that this was hanging, but it is actually hanging. So, yeah, and if he takes with the bishop knight d5, I mean, there's no way that I can lose this. Oh, but a2 hangs, maybe. Not so not so simple. I'll just play maybe bishop f3. Bishop c3, queen c3, d4, knight c6. Yeah, this must be good. I can always trade as well and just make the draw if I really want to. Um, but I, I, I want to win the game. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose five points for a draw here so i'm gonna play to win especially since i don't think i can lose here at least that's my assumption i could be very wrong on that but that's my assumption um so he goes back i take the pawn if he goes over with this one then i go that one i skewer him so he has to go with that one but then c4 should be no no he's the bishop guards the rook so it's not so easy so he's thinking for a long time here I'm trying to think on rook d8 if I can just grab the pawn and take with the knight. Probably I can. Um, lose points, move on, money. Yes, yeah, so this is a, this is this is one thing I could do. But um, yeah, if I draw by force, I move on. Thank you to Skipper for the two months. Thank you to TBWI for the two months as well. Did I just blunder something? I think I did because you can just move the bishop back. 
Wait, but I just want the wait, wait, wait. So, okay, take, take queen d2, rook c1, rook c1, queen d4. Okay, so I go queen e1, it's the same thing. If I go queen a1, is it the same thing? So I take bishop b7, queen a1, whatever, just don't blunder. Now I think I go queen a1, he trades, I trade, and I can't lose this. So the good news is I can't lose. I'm gonna be up one pawn as well, and all good things must come to an end for my opponent. Let's take. Queen a5, yeah, this is this is correct, but I mean, I just, I can't lose this, basically. Let's go here, just bishop c4. Take all the, take all the jimmy out of him and, um, and just, just slow it all down. Let's just go bishop c4. And yeah, bishop b5 is fine. That's a good move. I'll just play g3 here. If he takes, I take, I gave him queen c7, which he doesn't see. Okay, that's, that's fine. I don't care. I just trade. Take the draw. Actually, maybe not even take the draw. I think I just play on for the win here. I'm up a pawn. No risk. Um, why, why should I take a draw here? Let's go here. Let's go. Let's go. Um, why, what do I want to do? No, I don't want to draw. Let's go here. Or maybe I just blundered the draw anyway, but whatever. I think I just blundered the draw. Yeah, I just blundered the draw, or did I? If I go here... I'm gonna go here. This might be really insane of me, but I'm gonna do it. Um, yeah, he does this, and I make the check. Can I go queen f4? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tickle him. Go for the tickle. Go back, and then I go here. Go there. Now I go back, and now we do the. Now we start all over again. So let's do the tickle. I'm gonna gain a little bit of time here. Let's go here. Do the tickle again. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's do the tickle again. Let's go here. Let's go here and here. Okay, I think I just go e5. Goes there. Okay, but now I can check him and come back here let's go um i can play g4 i can also go like how do i rotate maybe queen e3 that should be fine i can't lose this let's go here okay, now i think i go queen f4 because now i have to be always mindful of this check um yeah i guess i'll go g4 why not At some point i have to So he still is thinking here. I'll go here. I guess I can go like here maybe in queen g5 and queen f6. Let's go here. It's getting very dice. Wait, but now I go check. Now I go here. Now I'm going king h6 and I think I'm close to winning actually. Okay. Now if I play e6. And he takes with the queen, he loses. If he goes there, then I just block. Queen d5, just... Let's think, if I take... Yeah, and I just block, and I just win the game. I block, because I have checkmate. And if he goes back, I just win. There we go. Yeah, I win the game, move on to the finals. Um, okay, important win there, 2-0. And um, we're gonna move on to the finals. Uh, which will be starting after the next match, which of course I will be doing commentary on um, when it begins. But yeah, so I'll do commentary on the final match beginning in a, beginning in in one second. But I am going to run run to the restroom very quickly, you guys. So I'll be back in thirty seconds. All right, you guys. So uh, with that win, we are in the final match. Um, I will watch the other match since it should be ongoing um where are these guys let's watch yeah let's 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 watch this match um this is the other match i think this is game one um between uh amin tabatabai and pavel pankratov i did wash my hands you guys i did um yeah we got one more match to go it's not over chat it's not over it ain't over till the fat lady sings as i like to say so um one more match to go 
and um and hopefully I, hopefully i play well so it's gonna be the same thing best of two um and the winner winner wins it um isn't that oh come on chat that's a saying don't 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 be a bunch don't be a bunch of cancel culture culture weirdos that's a, that's a, that's a yogi bear saying like come on stop stop being silly stop being insane i mean are we really gonna is this the kind of cancel culture world we live in today like seriously i mean like come on well, let's let's be serious um anyway pavel Ponkatov is a really nice position here he's attacking pawn on f6 um yeah yeah <laughs> anyway um all right so this looks really really bad like rook c2 and some combo rook c2 looks like gg to me unless i'm missing something because you can go knight before you take the pawn rook c7 and you win the you win the queen um what's wrong is there's oh the board oh sorry my board is slightly off now that's right because i have the I, let me turn the eval off i don't want the eval on um so all right okay rook c2 he sees it yeah knight b6 is going to be a crushing move for uh for white um so all right no eval you guys no eval i, I don't want that i'm doing pure commentary for you guys okay so 97 is maybe a move again this looks so bad for black everything is under deep pressure here and um and i think it's it's really hard for black so it's probably going to be one zero for uh infernal zam and i'll probably play him in the final game um and we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens anyway thank you again everybody for watching sorry for all the technical difficulties that we've had during the stream um, but thank you so much you guys appreciate it so all right so he does play rook c8 so white has to prove that he has the advantage so if black can move the knight then everything is very safe and sound here there might be some knight f6 uh technical ta ta his connection is pretty bad i think um but yeah uh, thank you achilles 93 for the prime thank you your favorite uh crouton for the two months thank you alex snow for the three thank you need your 99 with the prime thank you skipper two for the two months thank you tbwii for the two months as well thank you so much all right so white's threatening some kind of all kinds of fossilizations of the king and the queen here knight d5 is an excellent move by black but i still am worried about the sacrifice feels like there should be some kind of trick for uh for black or for white i should say maybe even g4 g5 to lever the, the weakness oh that might be a little bit too bold so so we'll see what is this tournament this is title tuesday you guys i am in the final match coming up um as soon as this match finishes so we'll we'll see uh see what happens basically i have to play the final match and then after that i'm gonna have to bounce because i i have to do this twitch rivals rehearsal or whatever so uh, i'm not gonna be able to hang around for long, long afterwards but um but yeah it's life okay rook c1 i like idea to take on e5 and take and go g4 here um so yeah lead contestants well no it's about the twitch rivals on july 10th um which is coming up this uh this this what this friday so so tomorrow you guys i will be doing a uh, four player chess with gotham and um gotham and chiu and and the whole gang um thursday i will be do doing the choker final match against eric rosen and on friday there will be twitch rivals so a lot of stuff coming up on the next couple of days you guys um and we just keep it rolling so yeah all right um I guess not apparently i'm being told twitch rivals is late so i'm not stopping you guys i'm not stopping yeah i'm not stopping apparently sorry okay so um apparently i'm not stopping since i have the rehearse the rehearsal's been pushed back um so i will keep streaming for the next couple of hours you guys i am wrong sorry about that um okay so 92 oh it's 4 p.m pacific okay okay fair enough um rook c6 good move i guess white wants to take the pawn here on f6 um uh okay knight c4 is very strong here uh, there's got to be a tactic for white somewhere in in, the, in this murkiness like knight c4 knight d6 knight b4 is a very strong move though black's trying to fight here black's trying to black's trying to fight in this position i like knight d6 maybe takes queen here but then there's rook here but then bishop here very dank very wild stuff rook d what uh? what was that rook b8 traps the queen queen 
Queen G4, GG. What is Rook B6? Ugh. What is Rook takes B6? But it's it's gonna work. But man, very strange, very very strange stuff. Rook D6 was also winning because you could fossilize the king and the king and the uh, king and the rook, but doesn't do it. This is good enough. Rook, rook F3 and it's GG. So um, so Amin's gonna win this game. So probably I'm gonna play him in the final match. Um, so final match coming up, I think in a in or wait no they have one more game. So one more game and then I will play Tabata Bay. I think in the final match uh, for all the marbles. Sasha, yeah, but it was best of one, you guys. It was a best of one. That was the thing. It wasn't a best of two. Sasha in a best of two, I think would have would have probably won. But in a best of one, anything can anything can happen. Um, and yes, as as, as Chess Bay is saying in the chat, PogChamps two will be a pure chess.com event. There will it will not there will not be a Twitch rivals as part of PogChamps two. Um, okay, so Pankratov plays G five. This is a system that Daniil Dubov has played quite a bit against the Gucci piano. Um, so it's a very aggressive setup, trying to attack very quickly on the king side. Um, so we'll see we'll see what uh, Tabata Bay does in in, in reply against it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, I don't have TTS on access to the serious competition. Thank you to Unjustified Truth for the three months. Thank you to Jabuti for the two months. How many Hawaiian shirts are in my closet? I think I have four. That's it. Thank you to Tristan for the uh, $3. Um, thank you so much. So, okay. So, Black is trying to attack here. Maybe G4, maybe F5, maybe Bishop E6. Oh, it's Tabata Bay. Tabata Bay. Oh, Tabata Bay. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, Tabata Bay then is ahead 1-0 in this critical second game. And, um, and... I don't know. I like his position, but Pankratov does get a lot of attacking ideas. G4, knight f4, knight b6. Knight b6 actually is a really nice move because you can take this pawn. I'm starting to wonder if Tab Tabata Bay will actually get in trouble in this game with the white pieces in, a, in an only draw. Or in a draw in a situation where a draw is good enough. Um, this final, the final is best of two. Every, final, every match is best of two. Where can we find the teams for Twitch Rivals? I think there was a tweet by Boxbox on that, so I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly um, what the teams are, the rosters are, but there are 16 players in Twitch Rivals. It will be on Friday at at some time. I don't know what time of the day. I'm guessing it's like noon or something, but I honestly have no idea. So we'll see, um, see what happens. But we have one more match coming up here, so just trying to relax. Um, and, and get ready. Who is commentating? I will be commentating on the. Um, I'll be commentating on the on the uh, um, on, on Twitch Rivals along with I believe Daniel Wrench and Alexander Botez. So we'll keep going. Um, 23k schlagers. What? There. I only have 20k watching you guys. 23k schlagers. Okay. Knight c4. Bishop c2. Um, what are schlagers actually? What are schlagers? Are you mean viewers? I don't know. <laughs> Hourly flex time. Oh, I walked right. In. You're right. I walked right into that. I walked into that. You guys, you guys got me good with that. I walked right into that. I walked right into the hourly flex. Yes, I totally walked into that. You guys are right. Yes, I walked into that. I walked right into that. Okay. Um, guess f four ninety four here maybe. Um, what do I get if I win? <laughs> yeah, I, what, if, if I win, I will get, um, I get $1,000. Yeah, I, I will. Um, <laughs> 5950 to the next flex. <laughs> no, first prize is $1,000. I've been to Nanaimo Island, yes. Uh, I've been to Nanaimo. I went there one time. I played, I played blackjack in the super small casino there. Um, I don't know why, but I did. Um, they have like a super small casino. Literally, there's like one blackjack table. Um, but I have been to Nanaimo, yes. Um, that doesn't mean I had a Nanaimo bar, though. Is that a Mason ring on your finger? Yes, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm like part of the, I'm part of the Freemason Society. I'm, I'm one of those, those terrible people that like is, is you know, protecting all the secrets of the world. Um, uh, no, Chad, I'm not married though. I'm not married. I'm single. Um, all right. Have I ever been to Bosnia and Herzegovina? No, I've never been there. Never been there. Um, <laughs> Illuminati, yeah. Why do I support the Freemasonry? Yes, I'm not a Freemason. Um, so, yeah. All right. Uh, I've never been to Estonia. I've I've never been to Estonia. I've always wanted to go. I've always wanted to go to um, to Tallinn, but I've never I've never been there. 
I've, I've never been to been to 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 um to Estonia. Wait, did I say wait? Did I, I said Tallinn, right? I didn't say Riga. I said Tallinn. Yeah. Um, okay. I think Black is doing well here. Black's trying to attack down towards the White King. This is very open, very dangerous. I'm start. I really like Black's position in this game, considering um, considering what's happened. No, Tallinn. Yeah, Tallinn. Yeah, yeah. But, but Tallinn and Riga get stuck in my head, sort of together, because I mean, yeah. So um, yeah, the prize is I thought one thousand dollars for a surprise. If it's twenty five hundred, I don't know. Um, but I thought it was 1,000. Uh, am I wrong? I don't know. You guys tell me. Knight F3 is a huge threat. Takes, takes, and checkmate. Lobster pincer on G2 because you fossilize the king. And then now check again. Looks, whoo, whoo. Queen G4, queen H3. This looks very, very bad for white. Okay, so T Tabata Bay gives up the exchange, but he's definitely in a lot of trouble here. Black should probably win this game. Um, I, I think black is doing very, very well here. G3, F3. Uh, TTS enabled. Well, I'm having sound issues too, you guys, um, because my computer got fried when when we had the big storm come through. So I think because of that, all my sounds and notifications are a little bit messed up right now. Um, so what to do? What to do? Anyway, uh, Tabata Bay is about to lose this game. He's going to lose his pawn, and with it, he's going to lose the whole center of the board. And um, and I think that uh, that there's going to be a final final game. There's going to be a bullet game. Surge protector? No, I mean I actually lost like power in my house. The lights went out. I don't mean like I lost like uh, connection to the internet. My whole my whole power, the whole all my power went out. Um, I've been to Trini Trinidad and Tobago. I was there in 1998. I played a tournament there uh, 22 years ago when I was 10 years old, just after I'd become the youngest master in America. Um, Great location. I love the event. It was it was held at the Hilton, I think the Hilton, wherever that was. Really nice location. Um, I'm not flexing you. Oh my, I'm not flexing you guys. Stop it. I'm not flexing. I'm I'm not. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Um. Oh, back ranker. He got he got he got ice skated. The I, the patented ice skater strikes again, and Black wins the game. So we're gonna play a bullet game now. I don't know who's the favorite in the bullet game. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so, all right, um, yeah, but no, I mean, I, I that was right after I became the youngest grand ma or young, youngest master, <laughs> Jeez, that was right after I became the youngest master, um, let, let me, let me watch the next game, and, uh, and, um, and it was like in the Hilton, it was in a really nice hotel, but, but my mom and I, we weren't, you know, we, we didn't have money. So we had to stay in like this little bed and breakfast, like half hour away, and get get a ride over every every day. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun. I remember it. It was a lot of fun. Um, okay, so let's let's watch the next game. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Unflex. Unflex. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Aggressive moment zero nine for the eleven months. Thank you. Skybound life for the five bucks. I remember when we were there. We ended up in this weird taxi ride. Like we got it, caught a taxi because we were out. Like just um, um, we were we were out once. Thank you, Max calls. Yes, but but times change. Things change. Things don't always work out. Um. Anyway. Uh, um. Um. Yeah. So so as I was saying, like we took we we went out to like the city somewhere, and then there was uh, okay. I'm, I'm let's watch the game. Um. There was a there was like a uh, we caught a taxi from like the zoo or something back to the hotel. And it was really weird because on the way, I think the driver picked up somebody else. So we ended up like on this like one and a half hour like uh, taxi ride. It wasn't like 30 minutes straight back to the bed and breakfast. We ended up like going through the city. It was a very strange kind of a uh, strange, uh, strange, strange, strange situation. It was like literally it was it's like if you go, it would be like you get in your Uber and Uber's like, ha ha, fooled you. This is this is the group share or the ride share. This isn't just your your private one. Like it's not Uber X. Like you're going to be you're going to be splitting with other people. That's what it was like. It was that's literally what it was. Um, so. So, yeah. All right. Um, OK, so these guys are playing bullet. White is moving quicker. Tabata Bay should be a little bit better with the good bishops, but anything can happen here. So half taxi, half getting kidnapped. Yes, I've been to India several times. I've played a tournament in Kolkata the last uh, three Novembers. I've been to Japan. Yes, I've been to Japan many times. Last time I was in Japan was in um, was in, was in uh, March of 2017. I think it, it was at the same time that Byron was in Japan as well. Um, the last time he was there. So 
So I was in Japan in, in, in March of 2017. Okay, so knight b1, probably going to play a3, try to trap the queen. Although a4 is an excellent move by Ponkratov here. Um, maybe rook d1 here. I think black is doing well, but both players have no time. Um, and is this 1-0 or is this... No, this is 1-1, right? Is this 1-0 or is this 1-1? This must be 1-1. These guys are moving way too slowly for if it's 1-0. Yeah, it's 1-1, okay. Um... Yeah. Anywhere I've never been to Morocco. No, I've been to Gibraltar many times. Um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, spaghetti oh. Someone's getting checkmated here, but white's up a white's up a juicer. White's up a juicer. Black is I don't Oh check ah 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 What? Why didn't he just take what uh, uh, uh take the rook? Huh? Oh, these. I thought this. It, wait, is this one one or one zero? Wait a second. I thought it was one one. Wait, chat. Was that one one or one zero? Now, now I'm really confused because that was one one. The technique was really poor there by both players. Because if it's one one, you you still have time to make the moves. I mean, I don't know. That was really weird. It should be one one. Because those last like 10 moves were played way too fast by both players. Um, if it's 1-1. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. We move on to the final match. Um, so here we go. Final match. Yeah, I mean, it looked like no increment at the end. I was just very confused. Because, I mean, Pogretov should have won that several times. But but whatever. 1-1 um, one, one with Ultra Lag. Okay, fair enough. Oh, no, it's 1-0. Oh. oh, no, it's straight 1-0? Oh, it's straight 1-0. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's straight 1-0. Okay. Yeah, and those guys, their budgeting of time was very, very bad in that game. If it was actually 1 plus 0. Very strange. Yeah, very, very strange. That was 100% 1 plus 1, but it's supposed to be... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm confused now. Whatever. Okay. All right, so I guess we'll get the, the final match is going to start in a second, you guys. I'm going to be playing against um, Amin Tabata Bey from Iran. And um, yeah, one more. That was 1-0. One, one guy had horrible lag. Okay. It says 1-0. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, strange. So all right, I'll update the bracket in one second. There's one more match left. Um, uh, he had so much lag that it looked like one plus one. Yeah. So one more to go. One more match. Best of two. I've been to Spain a lot of times. Um, but yeah. All right. Next match starts in five minutes, you guys. So I'm going to run to the restroom and, um, and I will be back in one second for the final match of title Tuesday. So, all right, guys, final match coming up in, I guess, like two minutes. I'll, I'll update the bracket once I have it, um, but it's still best of two. And if it's tied, then it's bullet one plus zero. Um, thank you to Bryce is right for the prime. Thank you to Freston Wizard for the three months. Thank you to Aggressive Moment zero nine for the 11. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate all the subs and the resubs. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, All right, thank you to uh, Donovan Diaz21 for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, you got this. Yeah, I mean, just good chess, good moves, good things happen. Pretty pretty straightforward. Um, a three plus one, so you just need to make make good moves. The big big Kahuna Burger, yeah. Um, so so yeah. Emote flex. Oh, you want to flex emote? Yeah, maybe. Maybe down the road, sure. We'll, we'll look into it. Thank you to Cogsworth 7184 for the Prime. Thank you so much. Just click his head. <laughs> this isn't Valorant, you guys. This isn't Valorant. Yeah. Okay. You got this. Just keep focusing. Yeah, just, just good chess. Quite straightforward. Yeah. Thank you to uh yeah, thank you to Cogsworth again for the for the prime. Um yeah, one one more to go.
I click squares for a living. Yes, there are sandals if I win. Yeah, there are uh, 1,000 big sandals if I win this game. So just two more, two more good games to go and rock and roll. Okay, they have no bracket for the final match. So whatever, I'm just going to close this then um, since it, it doesn't really matter. It's the final match, best of two. Everybody knows who I'm playing against. Um, so, so nobody needs to see this anymore. Uh, so let's just go. Final match. Let's rock and roll. Let's let's do it. Mm, let's do it. The prize is not two and a half. That's the, that's the total prize for you guys. Yeah, it's two thousand five hundred total prize fund. One thousand for first, seven fifty for second, um, and so forth. Do I get nervous playing the final with Twitch on? Not really. I mean, I guess the nerves would come from the fact that pretty much there's no upside and only downside. Like, I mean, literally, if I win, everyone expects me to win. If I mess up, then it's like it's the end of the world kind of. So that's the only thing that's annoying about these sorts of events is that basically there's really the, you're expected to win. So the upside is much is, is very reduced. Okay, I'm going to play E3 here. Let's go C4. I'm going to play C6 or E6. I'm not going to play B3 this game. Okay, he's gonna go e6 so i'm gonna play this this is what i played against wesley so in the finals or not finals but in the clutch chess i'm gonna do a, a weird setup i'm gonna take early in castle i think something very unusual here um and we'll take it from there so let's see what happens wait what's going on is he disconnected or something he might be disconnected Okay, plays b6. That's a strange move. I'll go here. Let's take. He's got to take with a pawn. Okay, now this one, I, I want to play this, this knight d2 line that I did um, before against Wesley. It's kind of unusual. And I'm going to play like... Does this. I'm going to go here and bishop b2 right away. Goes queen e7. That's a very good move. Um... Actually, I've misplayed this quite severely, but I just castle. So play a4. I don't really love this. I'm going to go queen c1 and bishop a3. Maybe a5 is an idea too. a5, a6 is, is lurking here. Plays a5, which actually makes me very happy. Because I feel like now I can go bishop a3. And if I get rid of this bishop, it's very powerful. Like, it's it's not quite a hat. Like, it's not surrounded by a hat, but it's not... It's, it's a very, very well-placed piece here. So I'm just going to go bishop a3, force the bishops off the board. If he goes here, I just take. If he takes, take with the queen or the rook. It's game one. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to take with the... Both moves are... I'm going to take with the rook, I guess. I don't know if this is right. It's probably not right, but I think it's decent. And so now I can always trade. I can also just go... Rook here and rook c2. If takes knight d4 looks good. Um, and I think I'm doing okay because the queen is without the dark square bishop, even though black at c5, his bishop on b7 is a little bit misplaced here. So let's let's see what he's gonna do. He can, he can play c5 here, maybe he can play f5. Okay, so he takes, which I actually think is a is not a very good move. I think that's actually releasing the tension in a way that is very unfavorable to black because now after rook c2 rook c1 if he ever takes i get knight d4 this is a very strange choice by my opponent i don't think this is correct um, i'm very surprised by this because now i can go like bishop f5 i can take very strange decision and i think i'm actually just clearly better now because he has a bad bishop and i've got a great structure i'm gonna double put the knight here his pieces are getting tangled up Okay, I take, I go here, knight e5, rook c2, b4, a5. This is very, very bad for black now. It's still okay. It's probably not lost, but it, this is definitely not what you want. Okay, goes f6, so now I think now I reroute my knight so I can play b4. I can even do a tri triple stack. Okay, goes there. Now I will do this to remove the queen. It's going to go back, and now I will go knight d3. If he takes, I take. If he goes back, I go back. He had bishop c4 there. Oh my gosh. He had bishop c4. I Oh, yo, yo, I actually missed that. He had bishop c4. Oh, wow. Yikes. Okay, let's just go b4. Open this up a little bit more. Um, and now he's got big problems with the pawn on c6 here. This minority attack is extremely strong. 
Um, so I take. Okay, so I can take. I thought I could just take this pawn, and what am I missing? Because queen a4, I go c6. If he takes, I have knight d3, knight f4. Rook c5 is also very promising. I think I'm just going to play this to keep it keep it very chill. And now I think I'm just going to go back with the rook. Avoid any back, avoid any potented ice skaters. Put the queen on the square. Bad bishop, technically sound, should be winning for white. Let's go here. Hit this. Rook c8, I go rook d1. Okay, queen d6, logical move. Now I can play rook d1. I can also play like h4. I think I'm just going to go h4 here. Um, so if he goes rook c8, I just tri... Wait, what? Aha. Uh -huh. So it's hard to believe this can be a draw, but maybe it is. Okay, so if I... So obviously I take. Now I can take with the knight or the queen. If I take with the queen, I don't know if that's winning. It feels like that might be winning, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not 100% sure how should I do it. I can take and play e4. Let's think about this. So I can also play e4 or ed5, which is interesting too. Um, let's think about this. Is that winning? I don't know if it's winning. Knight d5, king f7. I have no good continuations though. Queen a2, queen e6. I'm up a lot of time on the clock, so that's why I can think for a while here. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just take the knight. Because I can always trade queens later if I need to. Okay, king g7, strange move. Okay, so now I'll make a... I can also play h5, but then takes... I think I'm just gonna go... I think I'm just gonna go check, actually. Just just not, not get too low on time here, basically. Because now he has to find... Um, okay, that's probably a good move. If I go here... Maybe knight f4. I think knight f4 is okay. I don't love what I'm doing. I'll go knight f4, because if check, I go king h2. My knight is really good here, actually. It's a great square. Bishop is passive. I have h5, h6. Yeah, I kind of expected that. So I can play h5, but I think queen d6 is right, because I still keep knight e6 alive. Go check. This must be winning. He goes back, I check, and he loses. He goes up, I go check. He goes up, I go up, he goes up, I go mate. And if he goes up, I take, and he resigns. Okay, we win the first one. Okay, so we guarantee ourselves at least a um, at least a bullet game, a 1-0 bullet game. Um, but this is game two. Let's just keep it rolling. Okay, let's play solid here. Keep it, keep it all under the control. So I will go here. Play knight f6 next move, of course. Let's go here. Plays this, so I take. Okay, so he's gonna play this one. Okay, let's go d5, knight e4. This should be six, of course. He's gonna play knight c3, obviously a castle, all pretty standard. Right, and this is where I need to remember the right line, which I believe is just f6, so he takes and I take. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Levon Aronian played this against me in um, a couple of Blitz games online, so um, this is a well-known variation um, for both sides. Thank you to Ompost for the two months. Thank you to DJ Chestock for the six months. Thank you to 19 Camerog again. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I go to the bathroom a lot. I go like once every hour, hour and a half. If I drink too much caffeine, then I'm then I'm going like every hour. So I had this against Levon actually in India last year. Very, I remember that very fondly. We played in um, we played in uh, uh, this tournament in India. It was called uh, it was is a part of the Grand Chess Tour in Kolkata. Okay, now, knight e5, he takes. I think knight c3 is supposed to be right with bishop g4. Oh, he take. Hmm. Take. But I think this is just considered nothing for white. Bishop g4, I take, 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 and take. And then I come back, and then I go over, and then I go rook b8. And this is supposed to be uh, a known line that's completely fine for black. So I'm a little surprised by, I mean, playing this. Um, yeah, story time in the middle of the finals. Yeah, I, so I played Levon in Kolkata in the Grand Chester in the first game. And this was what happened. Or wait, why did I actually know? Maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong here, Takes? Am I wrong? Somehow I thought this was supposed to be nothing for white. I might have misplayed this, though. Maybe I misplayed this? Hmm. Huh. Wait a second. Did I actually just misplay this? I think I did. Hmm. 
Okay, I can go rook e8, c5, c4. No, I did misplay this. Oh my gosh. Why did I do this? Okay, let's think. So rook f6, he takes. I just misplayed this. Wow. Got the order wrong again. Let's go. Hmm. And my bishop is terrible here. This is the other big problem. So I go c5 there, bishop f6, queen d6. Oh, whatever. Let's just... Or no, but he d4, he just goes queen c4. Let's think. Rook f3. Let's do this and take. Oh, I just blundered this pawn, which I should not have blundered too. It's got frazzled and I just blundered. Well, maybe I can play queen e8 and rook e8 and I'm still kind of okay. Why did I do it? Although, actually, maybe I just go here, c6, and I'm going to get a check at least. Maybe even more. I get c5. Eh, it's bad. It's bad, but it's not maybe so clear for white because now he, he also activated my bishop where I can redevelop it. I also am getting a check. He also won't be able to castle because there's going to be a rook c6 because I can go like this and this if he castles. So white's king is actually kind of stuck in the center of the board, which gives me chances maybe to do something. Let's go rook e8. It's still bad, but there are chances definitely now. There are pra good practical chances if white can't castle the king here and white cannot. So... This is not so bad. It's not great, but it could be worse. Now I can play c6 and bishop c7, which actually looks pretty decent. Castle's there, rook g2, not ideal. I go here, he takes. If I play queen b5, a4 is a problem. I also just play rook c6 and rook c4. How do I do this? Let's think. So c5 takes bishop c7, rook g2. Um, there's no good continuation. Maybe I'll just... If I double the rooks, yeah, I'm going to double the rooks of king here. I'm going to go c6 and bishop c7. White still can't castle. So I want to go like c6, queen f7. So queen d3, but now I can just... Now I'm going to throw in the check, make the king go, and then I go... Oh, wait, he's threatening queen h7. Whoops, I didn't even see that. Yikes. So let's go here. Um, if takes, I take. I have queen h3. Moving a little bit slowly here, but I get c6 and bishop c7. So I'll just go here. I'm gonna go bishop c7, of course, next move. Um, what am I down? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm down two pawns here. It's not perfect, but it could be a lot worse. Okay, bishop f4. It's probably a good move. Um, I can go rook e4, maybe. So e5. Bishop c7. I feel like I'm about to blunder something here. I'll pre move this. here take a take if I can get into a rook and pawn endgame I have chances to win this not win this but not lose this this maybe is not so bad okay plays queen g3 I saw that move I thought I had some response although queen g3 might be ah this might be a real problem for me wait but I go here and then check. Not so, not so straight. Oh, I had queen d7 too. But rook e1 is a big threat. Oh, he can just take. Okay, he just takes. Shoot. Now I have to go here. Now I'm probably just lost. Let's go here maybe. I want to take this pawn. If I can get this pawn, which is six. King eight, rook g six. Frick. Whatever. Let's just go for it. If it's no good, it's no good. Go here. Go just back here. As long as I don't allow a queen trade. There's no force queen trade. I don't think. Go here, I guess. Here. Let's go here, I guess. Go here. Let's 
Ah, I blundered it. Oh, fudge. I blundered that. Oh, it was so careless of me. At the end, I blundered it. Oh, so careless. I could have come up with the king too, probably, when he checked. Happens. Happens. Oh, well. It's bullet. No biggie. No biggie. Yeah, I'll just I'll flag him in the bullet game, but it's just frustrating. Uh, probably, I was probably okay. Somewhere in here, I was still okay, I think. Um, this, yeah, when I allowed this bishop f4, there should have been something here that was playable. This, 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 and this. Maybe I have queen, yeah, queen d7, maybe. That's probably still losing. Just a bad game. Not, 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 not a good game. I mean, I just blundered. I blundered in the opening when I played played that move. I just shouldn't have played that, but whatever. Anyway, it's it's 1-0, so um, it's 1-0. I think it's it's straight 1-0. Okay, it's straight 1-0. So let's let's just do this in, in style. Why I resign? Because he can play queen g2 and trade the queens. That's why. Um, there's nothing I can do there. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, thank you, Ten Times Awesome, for the Prime. Thank you to Kobo TV for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. It's straight 1 0, yeah. Let's see. It's straight 1 0. I'm going to do something different, probably. Let me think for a second. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to be ignoring chat, you guys. Queen g3, king takes g7. No, I can't do it because my queen's on c7. So I can't do it. I'll take and go d5. Play. Feels like there's lag for some reason as well, which I don't understand. Yeah. I should play B5. Oh, this is straight. This is straight. This is straight. What am I doing? There we go. Oh my gosh, I, f I messed that up so badly. <sighs> that was, that's so bad. How did I do that? I mean, I should have, I, because like, how do I pre-move knight c1? I mean, the pre-move is pawn to c1 queen, because if he moves the king, it's an obvious pre-move, and then somehow I play knight c1, I make the miss pre-move with the knight when I should push the pawn, and then somehow he doesn't take my pawn when he can take the pawn, and, and I win, but oh. That was disgusting. That was absolutely terrible technique. That was terrible technique. 
Um, and the other thing, you guys, I forgot that it was 1-0. I thought it was 1 plus 1. No, that's that's the end of the match. I win. But when I was thinking about whether to take the knight, I forgot that it was 1 plus 0. I thought it was 1 plus 1. I just completely forgot that it was 1 plus 0. So I'm like, I can take the time because I gain 1 second every move. And then it's like, oops, complete idiot. What am I doing? What am I thinking? Like, wake up. Smell the coffee. Smell the roses. Stop being so bad at chess. Um... But luckily, I realized it was 1 plus 0 at the critical moment. Um, that was just so terrible. Anyway, I guess I have to join the broadcast. So you guys are going to hear me, but I think I have to turn off the uh, turn off the video. So I'll be back with the webcam in like one second, you guys. But you'll still hear me, I think, on stream. And we bring on the champion of the Speeches Championship Grand Prix leg, like Hikaru. That was a tough finish there. Were you nervous at all heading into just a bullet tiebreaker? I mean, I, I, I wasn't really that nervous after I won the first game, I would say, but certainly the fact that I had a position out of the opening the second game where I should have been should have, should have probably been able to draw it pretty pretty routinely, and then, um, then my opponent, after I made a couple of bad moves, my opponent played very precisely. Um, it certainly, it wasn't a great feeling. And then, yeah, the bullet, actually, I thought the bullet was very smooth until I suddenly forgot that there was no increment, because basically... Um, what happened is that with this moment when I took the two pieces for the Rook, I for some reason forgot and thought it was one plus one because of the previous game that I had watched where it seemed like it was one plus one. So because of that, I used all this time. And then luckily I realized in that half second that, um, that it was, that it was one plus zero and I came back, but still to make that Knight C1 pre-move was, uh, was, was really unfortunate. I was lucky the game didn't end in a draw there. Um, and I was still able to get the flag. So it, it worked out, but yeah, it was a lot closer than I would have liked for it to have been. Yeah, I mean, can you explain how difficult it is to jump between time formats? That is what happens in the speeches championship in general, but jumping from a three plus one into a one plus zero, like what kind of mindset change do you have to adopt? Um, well, for me, I mean, I'm a little bit lucky that I tend to be pretty fast and I've played a lot of bullet throughout my career. Um, so it doesn't really affect me that much. Um, but I think it's it's hard. Sometimes you forget that it's one plus zero because if you look at the speed championships, it's always been three plus one, and I think it's always been one plus one if I'm not right. mistaken. Um, so uh, so it's not it's not um, it's not that hard for me per se. But certainly just to remember that there's no increment because like like for example, there was this game in the um, in the qualification portion between Fabiano and Ali Reza. Um, and in that game, if that had been three plus zero, I think Ali Reza would have probably won that game probably at least 80% of the time, but because it was three plus one, um, he, he pro probably should win that maybe like 40% of the time. And then, then of course it didn't go his way. So when you get used to playing the style with increment and then playing without, um, it is, it is definitely different. Um, and I think the main thing though, is just in bullet, you just, just move fast and, and good things will happen generally. Yeah, and well, speaking of the final couple of rounds of the Swiss, it feels like forever ago, but you made a couple quick draws. Did you just say, I'm going to make it to the bracket, doesn't matter what seed I am, and my chances will be as good as, if not better than anybody else's? Yeah, I mean, I think when you're playing in the bracket, when it's something where you qualify, a certain number of people qualify, um, it's more about getting in there than th thinking about like, oh, if I finish first, I'm going to play number eight, and maybe that's going to be a weaker guy than like number five or something like that. But I've always found that when you try to game it in that in that way where you try to play, you take a huge risk because obviously if you blunder and lose the game, you're out. But then secondarily, uh, most of the time, it just doesn't work out the way you think that it will work out. Um, so it's it's just something where I think you focus on qualifying and then worry about the rest. And, and so I wasn't really thinking about anything except finishing the top eight. And then, you know, if I played Fabiano or Grishuk or whomever, you know, it is what it is, but you just play the game. Yeah, actually, what can you say about that? Because you made it through... You know, relatively unscathed until the uh, finale there. But what can you say about some of these other strong grandmasters who may not have uh, the recognition as some of their higher rated opponents, but there were three upsets in that opening quarterfinal. Yeah, I mean, the the Indian kids are good. What can I say? <laughs> so, I mean, the, the fact is, like, um, I think, uh, is it Raunax had one? I think that's his name. Yeah. Um, he, played in, he played in Isle of Man last year. Did he actually play you? No, we never played. You didn't play him. Okay, somebody maybe he played Shanklin then. He played some 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 American, um, and I, I think he lost that game, but he had a very good result overall. Um, so uh, so a very talented junior, and then also Aravind. I mean, he's he's been known for quite a while now. Also very strong. I think just when it's a best of one, especially at the start, anything can happen, and um, we d certainly saw that in the the Fabiano game because he he was completely winning most of the way, and then just slipped for a couple of moves, and it was just over. So. Um, 
Yeah, I, it, I think it, it happens in the Pankratov, obviously. He's he's a blitz specialist. I've played him many times, both over the board and online. Very dangerous guy. And um, in best of one, anything can happen, I would say. Yeah. Well, when you're involved, it seems like, uh, you know, we are never surprised but and never too concerned about your result, but you showed some great strength once again. So congratulations on winning uh, this Grand Prix leg. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. And there you heard from Hikaru Nakamura, the winner of this week's Speech of Championship Grand Prix. He beat Amin Tabatabai in the final by a score of two to one, outlasting him in a bullet game with an amazing interception because he knew what his opponent was pre-moving. He didn't allow that pre-move to happen. And then the clock ticked to zero. So Hikaru Nakamura entered the four seed. He ends up as the top. 